Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Esli from Inky in the Brain and today I have a plan with me, a very special plan with me. This is actually going to be a collab with Sammy, Sammy from Artbox Stickers. Y'all hear me gush about her all of the time. She is my planner bestie and she's just like the sweetest, most wonderful human being. Um, we have never met in person. We know each other from YouTube and Instagram and, you know, like the planner community. Um, but she is truly, genuinely one of the most wonderful human beings I have ever like encountered uh, and I just love her very much and we decided to do a collab kind of revolving around Thanksgiving um, some of our we were talking about Thanksgiving and we both have kind of a um, unusual like start or, or you know um, like not your traditional we grew up having Thanksgiving kind of a story so we thought it would be fun to collab and, and share. Um, I am using this kit. This is a printable kit. Um, I've had it for a while so I, I don't rem I kind of think I know the name of the shop but I don't want to be wrong so I will link it down below. It's a small kit. It's just a four page kit but the, I thought these images were just so so pretty. Um, I I love the little squirrel. I just think that's so funny. Um, and then we have um, some boxes and uh, it, it's not a very big kit, but it's definitely enough. And I actually really like these kits um, because of, of these checklists. Um, because even though it's small, like it still comes with, you know, these big checklists, which I like. I like to use these. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're both going to be answering the same questions. We have, I think, five questions about Thanksgiving that we're going to be talking about. And then obviously I'll just be kind of going through my... Um, through my week here. So this is a peek of how last week kind of turned out and we're doing another spread on four pages again. I am going to be pulling in this washi. This is Simply Gilded Washi. This is, uh, it's not rose gold because there's like a pinkier one. Here, let me. Um, there's like this one that's like a actual pink metallic and then this I think is just like a copper. I don't think she has like a true rose gold unless maybe I just don't have it I don't know um but I thought this would look really pretty with these you know with these colors I am going to be pulling in rose gold like for the rest of the spread because you know my stickers are a little bit more pink like if you compare this color well it might not look much different on camera um but that has a lot more pinky hue than this this looks a lot more brown also I just saw it happen right now so I don't know if you're going to be able to see but Y'all, all the lights in this house have decided to take a vacation. They're all flickering. They're all being obnoxious. It is so annoying. I don't know what's going on. We kind of at first just thought it was like a light bulb in our room. Uh, but it's now, I noticed it just today happening here with my filming lights. There, it just did it again. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to catch that because it's just like, like a super quick, like little like flutter. Um, so hopefully y'all don't see that. If you can, I'm so, so sorry. I don't, like I said, I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyway, I thought it was just the, you know, the ones in our, in our room. And then these started doing it today. Uh, and then Luis noticed in his office, um, that they were kind of, you know, it's not like a full flicker. Like it's, it's just like a light litter, little fluttering. It's so strange. Okay. That's obviously just not going to go down straight. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's really annoying. It's like, honestly, making me a little dizzy and I don't like it, but we will, we will survive. And I need to get my week done because it's already Tuesday night, y'all. I have like the last two, three weeks have not been very good about doing this like on Sunday or Monday morning. Um, I just feel like we just keep getting busy. And yesterday, I just had a hard day. Um, yesterday was just, I had like super bad anxiety. I was just not, not feeling it yesterday. But we are here today and I'm feeling much, much better. So we're just gonna um, run with it and, you know, pretend it's Monday again. <laughs> um, but anyway, let me go ahead and get started with the question. So the very first question that I have here is... Wait, where's my paper? What was your first Thanksgiving like? And like I said, we both kind of had, um, you know, not your traditional first Thanksgiving. Like I, um, 
if you are new here or if you don't know, I am, uh, I guess what you would call Mexican American or of Hispanic descent. Um, I lived in Mexico for the first, I don't know how many years of my life, maybe eight or nine years um, before we came to the United States. And when I came to the United States, I was... I don't know. I was, oh, did I just say eight or nine? Well, I was in, I was supposed to go in a fifth grade, but since I didn't really know any English, um, I mean, I, I knew like the basics, I guess, of English, like a tiny, tiny bit, um, because the school that I went to in Mexico had like English classes. Um, so I knew like a tiny bit, but not really much. Um, so when I came, when we came to the United States, I was in, supposed to go in a fifth grade, but I obviously didn't know enough English. So they held me back. They put me in third grade. Um, and I actually, because I didn't want to stay behind, like, you know, I mean, when you're a fifth grader, you don't want to be hanging out with third graders. Like that's a big deal. <laughs> So, you know, like, I, I feel like you're just a much bigger human whenever you're in fifth grade. Um, so I didn't want to be with all the third graders. And I, my mom talked to the school and asked, like, if I could, you know, do all three years all at once. So like third, fourth, and fifth. And they said, like, that if I could handle it, you know, if I could manage, like, as long as I did well and kept my grades up and things, then it would be fine. Um... And so that's what I did. I did third, fourth, and fifth all in one year um, when we first came to the States. So whenever we first came to the States, uh, I had never, to, to my recollection at least, I don't remember ever like hearing or learning or knowing anything about Thanksgiving. I mean, it is an American or like North American holiday. I know that Canada has like their own version of Thanksgiving. I have no idea actually if that's like related to the American Thanksgiving. Like now that I'm saying it out loud, I have absolutely positively no idea. I'm gonna turn y'all just a little bit, just so it's a little more straight for y'all. Um, but anyway, so I remember learning about it in school and you know, the turkey and this and that. And I just, I was, I thought it was like the greatest thing ever. This like holiday where you just get to be like, you know, you get to express, express gratitude and eat a bunch of food and get your family all together. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, like, this is like a second Christmas. Like, you get to eat all this food and, you know, second Christmas without the presents, basically. And I just remember thinking that was, like, the coolest, most exciting thing. And I, I remember going home and telling my parents about it. And I have no idea if they knew what Thanksgiving was. Um... I have like I don't I don't know any like I don't really remember any of that I was pretty little um but you know I remember telling my mom like what it is and that we had to have turkey and you know all the sides and all these things and she said okay so we like you know she gathered up the family and we had decided to do Thanksgiving um so we hosted like my family my my parents hosted our very first Thanksgiving um, ever and we <laughs> so this was super last minute right like this was I don't remember like how last minute uh, I'm pulling in these glitter headers by the way these are from my shop um, they look a little bit different now but the colors are the same and I just have had these in my collection forever I'm thinking I'm gonna pull in um, this like orangey what the heck is ew that looked like a booger, y'all. That was not a booger. I'm so sorry. That was like, um, those like sticky things. This, one of these, um, the glue dots. Um, I, I was like staging some pictures earlier and I was trying to like prop stuff up and I use these little glue dots. They're like non, um, they're removable. And so those do the trick. So I'm sorry that was like gross, like stuck on my stickers. Um, anyway, I was thinking of using this kind of like orangey brown, uh, and then this darker gray color. I thought that would be, hmm, maybe I'll do this brown actually. Uh, should I do lighter? No, I'll do this because I feel like that'll kind of match with this a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the top. Uh, so where was I? Okay, so it was last, super last minute. I don't remember how last minute it was. 
Um, like, I don't know if I told my mom, like, the day of Thanksgiving. or Like, I seriously have no idea. But I do know that when we went to the grocery store, there were no turkeys. So... I remember, I, and I specifically remember this because I was very distraught by the fact that there were no turkeys left. Literally no turkeys in the entire grocery store. And we were having dinner that night, I'm pretty sure. I don't even think it was the day before. I don't, I, I can't remember. But I just remember we were like super rushed. There were no turkeys. So my mom's like looking around at the grocery store. Like what can we make that's similar to turkey, you know? And there's these little quails, like full body little quails. And so we bought a whole bunch of them and every person got their own little individual quail <laughs> for my very first Thanksgiving. And I know we made like all the sides and all of that was still the same, um, like traditional, like, you know, mashed potatoes and no one in the family has really ever been big into pumpkin pie. I like pumpkin pie, but my family doesn't, so I don't even think we have that kind of stuff. But yeah, everybody had their own little baby quail. <laughs> I mean, they're not babies, but like little tiny, like imagine like a tiny shrunk turkey on your plate and everybody got their own. And it was just, it was just like now looking back, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's the funniest thing. <laughs> just that's like so random um, so because today is Tuesday I'm not gonna put a checklist for Monday um, I'm just gonna put one starting today even though honestly I probably don't even really need one today mm -hmm. no I'm not gonna put one for today because there's like I mean there's a couple more things I need to get done but I'll just write those at the bottom here um, so yeah that was my very first Thanksgiving that's really all I remember I, I remember celebrating with my family like I remember my grandparents were there um, both of my grandparents have have passed away and I was like a total total grandpa's girl like I was my grandpa was like just the best human um, and I remember they were there and I just I, I remember Okay, I'm not going to put Saturday, I'm going to put one on Sunday, but I'm going to put it down here at the bottom because typically we do things Sunday morning and then the rest of the day is kind of like things we do at home, so that's why it just like works better in my brain to do that. Now I'm going to use the glitter headers just to put at the bottom of the checklist, so not going to put any on the days that don't have it. I know that probably like looks really weird and I feel like that might be giving y'all like some perfectionists out there kind of like you know goosebumps or something <laughs> um, but it just I do use this planner even though it's super stickery and decorative um, I do use this planner functionally so it just doesn't really make sense like honestly I don't even have to go back and like fill these in to, for it to be functional but I don't like leaving you know giant days empty so I will put things there of course um, okay so that is that and I actually want to put um, these little overlays uh, that I have somewhere here they are these are from Artbox stickers um, and they're little header overlays but they're little bows y'all see those let me Aren't those so precious and they're rose gold and I thought because this is kind of a darker color I thought it would be pretty um, to you know add a little bit of this rose goldy color on top just to give it a little extra something oh that's so cute so so cute and then I'm gonna use this is a Teflon bone folder I have talked about this like a billion times this is not a regular bone folder. I know that you think I have a bone folder. This is not anything different. It is. I promise you it is. It is. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's super like silky smooth and it's just the best. Like this does not crease or scratch or anything. And it's just the greatest thing um, because I can like really, really rub down on any foiled sticker just to make sure there's none of that like fogginess. 
and like it does nothing to the sticker this this thing is great I love this thing but anyway um, so yeah that was my first Thanksgiving experience <laughs> with the quail <laughs> It's just so funny. I just always think of that and I just laugh. Um, so anyway, moving on to the next um, question is, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? And, oh y'all, mm, I really love, uh, this is so hard. Like, how do you pick? But I, I feel like I would instinctively say mashed potatoes because I could kill potatoes like, you know, like it's going out of style but I am no longer eating potatoes because I am trying to watch my carb intake as y'all know um so I feel like if I say mashed potatoes like that just is gonna make me sad so um I love turkey I really really love turkey because we don't really I probably eat turkey once a year and that's during Thanksgiving, maybe twice a year, because sometimes we'll have Thanksgiving, or I'm sorry, we'll have turkey on Christmas as well. But that's it. Like, I don't really ever have... Okay, hold on, break. I was going to put this dude up here, because he's adorable. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. But tomorrow's already Wednesday, so I'm really going to be mostly staring at the spread on this week, or like on this half, so I feel like I want him over here so that I can enjoy him. So, because I'm not a huge fan of, like, the people, I just, I'm not a fan. I'm just going to put her on the corner. Um, yeah, just because I won't, like, look at it much, basically. Uh, actually, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm just gonna like stick her here somewhere and then I'm gonna try to like cover her up somehow. Like cover her face. Is that weird? Is that rude? I don't care. I'm probably gonna end up moving that because like it's not gonna be centered right, but I'm gonna put, I'll put this, the little, mm, no. <laughs> wow, indecisive much? Yes, I know. Um, so I was saying I don't really have turkey hardly at any other point. So I love turkey. Um, and then I love, love, love Brussels sprouts. I know that's going to sound like really dumb because I feel like I should say pie or something because pie is amazing and I do love pie and I love all the Thanksgiving food, but Brussels sprouts are like my, one of my favorite foods like of all time. So I feel like I have to say Brussels sprouts. We make Brussels sprouts like as a side dish. I know that's like not traditional. This is weird. I feel like I'm not even saying traditional Thanksgiving food, but whatever. <laughs> My diet is limited nowadays. So I'm trying to say things that I can eat and not just like say things just, you know, that are gonna like make me sad. What is on my planner? Do y'all see it's like there and there? It's like I stabbed it with a pen. Hmm. I don't know. So I'm putting down this weekly box for dinners and I'm going to use this, um, this little like piece of the bottom washi just to make a little like, oh, you know what? That's like the book part on this side. So I'm going to use this side of it and then I'll just cut it with my, where'd it go? With my pen blade. I've gotten a couple of questions about this. This is a, I always have it linked down below. It's like a little dirty right now. Um, I love this thing because it's an X-Acto knife, but it, you know, you click it, it retracts. Um, it's super, super sharp, super pointy, uh, but it's also not round, so you don't have to worry about it rolling around on your desk. Um, and like falling or I don't know. I just feel like this is so much safer and I really love it and they have um, Like different tips um, The one I have linked below is this one But I know they have like a pack of three and they like have different tips and things and I don't know I just really like that thing All right moving on. I'm gonna put habit tracker And this one has they're like the same color habit tracker um, should I put some, I feel like I should put some washi here. I'm gonna grab, 
Oh, it's not even open. The same washi um, from the bottom. I'm just gonna grab like the smaller one, the, the 10 millimeter. Hold on. Or maybe I should grab the... No, I'm just gonna stick with this. So yeah, like I said, I'm on like a very limited diet nowadays, so I feel like, I mean, I would love to say macaroni and cheese also, but I can't have that anymore, so I'm gonna go with turkey is my favorite, followed maybe by the Brussels sprout dish, um, which is like a Brussels sprout bacon garlic dish, which is amazing. All right, so next question is, where do you normally have Thanksgiving? So Thanksgiving has been kind of random, I feel like, for my family, because it's, I mean, it's like not a holiday we grew up having. It's not, you know, it, it doesn't carry the same weight, say, as Christmas does, in my family at least. Um, like, not anywhere near that. Um, so it, it kind of varies, it's kind of random. I am going to put, I would like to put a checklist here, but I have to cut it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of sticker surgery here. So like I was saying, it's kind of random. Um, it's not like a, you know, oh, we have to do it at this house or you know things like that it's just like I don't know it varies so because it varies um, I don't really have a good answer for this question but I can say in the last couple of years so Luis and I have been together for I don't know three ish years I think I don't know but it's been like three holiday seasons and so the first time around I think we tried to split it um, so we tried to do like the same day, like have Thanksgiving at, no, I lost, okay, here it is. <laughs> we tried to do, um, Thanksgiving to where it was, we basically had like an early dinner at my parents' house and then had a late dinner at his parents' house, something like that. Like it was just, but it was really stressful, obviously, like that did not work out very well, um, for anybody. And then last year, or the year before, we did it at my house, and then the next day we did it at his house. Um, so basically that's what we're doing now, we're just swapping it. Um, so for example, this year, I don't remember like what order we went in, but I know this year, Thanksgiving, like actual Thanksgiving day on Thursday, um, we are doing it at his parents' house, and then... Um, on Friday we're we're gonna have dinner at my house with my parents so my family is like moving we're moving our Thanksgiving dinner to Friday um, okay so I did I, if you saw me I cut that down and then I put a little piece of the bottom as well just so it makes like you know kind of like looks like it's the full box so there we go that is it for the sidebar I need to find my little dinner script but I didn't pull it out already so I'll have to look for that later Okay, so for yesterday, I'm going to, let's see, I have my list here. Well, I wanted to mark down that it was kind of a no good, no good day. Um, I have these little stickers from Once More With Love with like, it's like a little battery, like battery low. And I just feel like that kind of sums up most of, I just had no energy and I, I just had a bad day. So I have been, I've, I've talked about this somewhat um, on my channel here and there, but I have been struggling a lot lately with the idea of, of dying. It's like a new, I, I don't actually don't know if I've like specifically mentioned it or talked about it, but it's like a new anxiety I've developed. I guess ever since I, you know, got my diagnosis um, a couple months ago, I feel like in my head I'm just constantly like, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, um, you know, like what if I have a stroke or what if I, like whatever it may be, and it's just like pretty constant. Um, so I've been struggling a lot with like mental health issues, um, 
and there's some days where I'm like, okay, like today I had a really good day. And then there's some days like yesterday where I just spent the entire day convinced I was going to die yesterday. So <laughs> I know it's probably unreasonable, but it's just, um, you know, that's what anxiety is. Your mind likes to mess with you and, you know, hurt you. So that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the downer, um, but it's, uh, you know, it was just a hard day yesterday and, and I know, you know, I'm, I'm, I know I'm just going to have some good days and some bad days and yesterday was just, yesterday was just a rough one. I did, however, um, to <laughs> change the subject, I did work on orders yesterday, um, so I'm going to mark um, that down here. I worked on orders and then, oh wait, I wanted to put first... I listed um, the new knobs. So y'all know we make um, draw, uh, knobs for the washi drawers. So those are currently listed in the shop. They should still be listed by the time this video goes live. We expect that we're going to have them in the shop until the day before Thanksgiving. That's our goal. But if we reach our order max, like if, if we reach capacity, then we'll have to take them down sooner. We do kind of like a pre-sale round for them, so, um, but it's not completely unlimited because we still, you know, we can only make so much. Like it, it's, they're very, very, very time consuming to make. Um, Luis is actually working on a batch right now. Um, they're just really difficult to make. So I did list those and we actually um, set up some new ones. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me, oh, it's hard to like, because I pulled, I pulled some of my washi out, so everything's like not, oh, <laughs> everything's kind of a mess, but we make these things, little knobs for the, sorry, it's not gonna, for the washi drawers, um, we have bows, we have um, new shapes for this round, we added hearts, stars, and moons, and they're so stinking cute, here, let me show you the heart one I have it like floating here so this is the little heart and um, this is just not painted but we have them like um, we have gold silver gold silver rose gold and gunmetal and I think right now we're offering um, like a metallic crimson color which is like almost like this it's like a dark red um, so yeah we have a bunch of a bunch of shapes now and, and more colors and it's just exciting very very exciting so those should be in the shop like I mentioned but like when you're watching this um, but anyway I worked on orders yesterday um, oh yesterday was my weigh-in day which was not a good weigh-in day y'all I pulled out this like sad sticker from pumpkin paper co because I'm I'm not like I'm I'm truly not disappointed or anything because I've been doing really really well. Um, if you don't know, I'm like on a weight loss journey. Um, I actually have a video that's going up on Thursday that you would have already seen by the time this video is live. So I will link it up above um, regarding like my health planner and I talk a little bit about what I'm doing and things like that. But um, it, I've lost. I think I'm around 46 or 47 pounds that I've lost so far this year, like, you know, since January. Um, but I gained a little bit this past, like when I weighed myself yesterday, but it was like, it was like half a pound, y'all. It was like nothing. Um, so I'm not like super, super bummed. It's just, you know, um, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's a bit of up and down, but I'm still doing well, but I'm want to mark down that I did my weigh in and then we did go to the gym last night. Um, which is something that I want to mark down as well. I have these little um, characters from Once More With Love. So I am going to take this one on the treadmill here and I'm going to grab a box and put that in one of these little boxes. Sorry about that. Camera cut me off. Hopefully it wasn't overheating because if it was overheating, then it's just going to cut me off again. Uh, okay, whatever. We're just going to go with this one. And I'm going to mark my upload. So I uploaded last week's plan with me. So this plan with me went up 
today and I'm gonna mark that with another one of these Artbox stickers. Y'all see me use these all the time. Um, these are just little play buttons from Artbox stickers and then I'm gonna mark Thursday, like I mentioned, that health, it's like my health journal. Um, that's going up. That's already filmed and scheduled. I did edit that today. Um, so it's ready to go. So that will be on Thursday. And let's see. Um, did want to mark filming with this sticker. Y'all have seen me use this one too. I'm obsessed with this sticker right now. This is from Pumpkin Paper Co. I just think it's so cute, like how she has like her little camera with like her planner. That's just adorable. Um, so let's mark filming with one of these bigger boxes. I told y'all I was gonna have to move this one up a bit. And that's okay. It's a good thing about this um, paper, the print impression paper, is that it's it's pretty good with, with peeling stickers. I mean, you saw that had been down for a little bit because I keep yapping my mouth, <laughs> but there we go. Okay, so that is that. And then um, I made salmon for dinner, which I wanted to mark um, because I don't have much else to mark today because I was mostly doing like computer work today. So I, you know, I usually would just put like my dinners over here, but I want to, I wanted to mark it. And then gonna mark editing videos where is oh and I did also I pulled these out um, these were from a couple weeks ago um, two dollar Tuesdays um, because we need to kind of like bulk make coffee today um, because um, we ran out of pods for our Nespresso and we haven't ordered any new ones and um, we, whenever that happens, we use this, this like a stovetop espresso maker and we just kind of bulk make some coffee and then that's what we'll have like cold coffee basically, almost like a cold brew situation for the rest of the week. So use that, that, and then I'll put something else here, but I'm not going to, um, I'll have to think about what else happens today. Uh, so let me continue on tomorrow. Basically tomorrow I am just working on orders. I really don't have anything else that I need to mark down. I'm going to sit my butt down the entire day and work on orders because I am not like behind to where orders are late. I'm just behind from where I would like to be. So I started doing, I, I upped my, it's, it's been pretty much the whole year. Uh, I think ever since I moved, I upped my like shipping time. I made like an agreement or a promise to myself. It was one of my goals that I was no longer going to be staying up to work on orders. So there were a lot of times where I would stay up all night and then I would basically take a short nap during the day. Then I would keep working on orders, make dinner, you know, whenever Luis got home, eat dinner with Luis. Then he would be working on orders while I took another nap and then I would wake up and then he, or, or yeah, I would wake up, he would go to sleep and then I would work on orders all night. And I made my, like a promise to myself that I would not do that anymore because it's A, just bad for our relationship, bad for me, just, there's just like a million reasons, right? Um, and because of that though, I feel like it's slowed down production a bit, but it's okay, it's it's worth it to me to have a sense of sanity. Um, so, you know, gotta kind of take some, you know, win some, lose some kind of situation. All right, that is it for tomorrow. Oh, I need to um, drop off some more of the knob, um, the little washi drawer knobs. Those need to get packed up, so that's more um, just kind of shop-related things that also need to get done tomorrow, but I'm just gonna mark it with this cutie. This is... All right, y'all, so I don't know where I left off. I think I was putting down this sticker mentioning I had to drop off some orders, um, but 
I don't know what else I said um, because Luis or the camera overheated so I stopped filming and Luis heard that I stopped filming so he came in here and then he said he was gonna work on trying to fix the lights um, so we were without light for a little bit while he was checking in on that so yeah don't know what <laughs> no idea what's going on oh, I'm gonna have to move this little dude oh no hopefully I don't hurt him Dang it, I didn't think about it. Oh, and it's like so thin right there in the middle because it's, I don't know if I said, but this is from um, the little bunny here is from Rainbow Bunny Co, which I love these stickers. I haven't ordered from her in so long. I really need to, but <laughs> I'm on this awful no spend. <laughs> anyway, next question is gonna be, um, what is your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? I, before I answer that, I'm just going to scatter the rest of these boxes throughout. Um, kind of just, you know, put them here and there so that, um, just have these placed down. Um, but anyway, back to that, uh, traditions. Um, I, I Thanksgiving for us, I feel like is still, even though we've been celebrating it for, I don't know years now um, I mean I mentioned since I was in like fifth grade so it's been a very long time um, but um, I, I feel like it's still very like fluid for us you know like it's I've, I've done Thanksgiving with like friends I've done Thanksgiving with like you know exes um I've done like you know what I mean like it's never been like a huge like it's not a, a huge thing for I feel like my family like the biggest thing for my family is Christmas Christmas Eve actually is when we celebrate um Christmas and that's like the big big thing in my family and I feel like everything else is just kind of you know like there um so as far as traditions, I don't necessarily think it's a Thanksgiving tradition, but I feel like maybe my favorite thing would be um, games. My family is very, very much into um, like family game night type things, like play board games. Our favorite game of all time is, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's Rumi Cube or Rummy Cub. I'll put a picture of it. I'll like find a picture online and put it here. Um, and we like go crazy over that game. Like it is super intense how we go into that game. Um, so I think that would be like my favorite thing maybe that we just kind of um, hang out and, and play games uh, after dinner. We're not big like Black Friday shopping people. We just, I don't think it's really a big deal for any of, of my family members. I am trying to find some white out because since this is a clear sticker you can see the lines and I feel like that's gonna kind of bug me a little bit I'm putting this down because Sunday is gonna be like a big design day give me a sec Sunday's gonna be a big design day um, because Black Friday uh, sale is coming to the shop on Black Friday I'm actually participating um, because I was in the um, UPS sale, the Ultimate Planner sale. I was part of that sale for the last round. Now that looks even wonkier. I feel like it's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stress about it. Um, because I was part of the Ultimate Planner sale for like their fall edition, they're having like a special kind of mini collab sale for Black Friday. So I joined in on that one as well. Um, so I'm doing a collab sale. So if you want to save some money on um, my shop, then on Black Friday, I will be having 30% off. Um, the The knobs are not gonna be part of the sale. It's only gonna be for the stickers. However, if you're interested in the knobs, right now we're actually celebrating the two year anniversary of um, my shop. Uh, we open on November, I think it was November 19th or 20th. I can't even remember anymore. Um, but I, I know it was right around the 20th because that was my grandpa's birthday and I remember like that having a big significance for me. Um, but um, we're celebrating two years, so we're doing 25% off 
those knobs and I had to like twist Luis's arm because he does pretty much all the work for those and like I said they take forever and he's like that's a huge like that's you know like that's a, a big cut on profit um but I was like come on it's like a special thing it's our anniversary so he you know the shop anniversary so he agreed um but anyway that's that on that um so yeah as far as family traditions only thing I could say is we like to play games afterwards so that would be my favorite thing. Um, I put this box here because I want, I'm like digging for the sticker. I wanted to mark, we are going to um, do like a little hike. So I have this little thing that says go for a walk. I'm actually gonna cut the go for a walk um, like word part and just use the little girl like hiking, going, you know, like this like, cute little fall walk we're doing a little fall hike so I thought this would be just perfect for that isn't that so cute I love that uh, and then we do have plans to go to the movies let me grab All right, so we're going to the movies I don't have any movie marquees that match I really need to make some of those I keep saying that and I keep forgetting um, so I'm just going to take the last two of these half boxes, I'm going to put this down here. Friday night we're going to go watch a movie called Knives Out. I don't, I think it's kind of like a murder mystery thing. Um, like I think it, like it's supposed to be funny, like it's comedy. I haven't, I've only seen like the one preview, it was like the last time we went to the movies. Um, they showed the preview for it and the only reason I want to go is because Captain America's in it. Um, I don't know the name of the actor, I'm sorry, but you know, America's, uh, I won't say the word, <laughs> is in it. And um, yeah, I, I have to watch that. And I am putting down my favorite of all time sticker for the movies even though this is not gonna be a 3d movie like look at that this is from our buck sticker so is this one by the way this one i didn't say but that is from uh stick with the plan co but look at that it's the little girl has popcorn the little dude is like sipping on his soda and they have the little i just i can't it's like my favorite thing in the world. Just the cutest little illustration. Um, and that is from, like I said, Artbox stickers. So we're going to see Knives Out on Friday. And then we're going on Sunday to watch um, Frozen. And I actually want to go on Saturday too. Because I want to go see um, the Mr. Rogers uh, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. But I don't know if we're going to make it to that. But anyway, that is it. I'm just going to fill this out. But I have one more question. And I wanted to just take a moment. The last question is, um, what is something you are thankful for? And I am most thankful for, uh, because of this weird anxiety about dying that I've been having, I'm thankful I'm here. I'm thankful I'm alive. Um, I'm so, so thankful that I'm still around. <laughs> and hopefully I will be for a long time. But that is, that is what I'm most grateful for in my heart right now is just that I'm alive and it's easy to take for granted, I guess. But anyway, that is going to be it. I'm going to fill this out and I will be right back to show y'all. All right, y'all. So that is going to be it for this plan with me. Here it is filled out and here is the second half of the week. The, um checklist i will usually fill them out either the night before or the morning of or sometimes like i'll add throughout the day um just for things that actually need to be checked off um, but the rest of the information is in here and that's it i love how this turned out i think it's really pretty i love all these like fall vibes so that is gonna be it for this plan with me please make sure to go and check out sammy's video it will be linked down below um i cannot wait to hear her answers i'm like super excited to watch her video i love all her plan with me so make sure to go and check her out and subscribe and thank you all so so much for stopping by here if you are from Sammy's channel hello and welcome and make sure to subscribe and stick around and hopefully I'll see you soon anyway I will talk to y'all later bye everyone